That audio was kind of loud. Let me just turn it down. I'll turn it all the way down. I should turn it off. Now, I do want to listen to it, but I don't want OBS to pick it up on it. Yeah, this is better. This is better. You guys can only hear my voice now. But you can hear it in the background. Hell no. Nah. Let's just turn it off. You know, I don't know really. You... Let me slow down. You know, I don't really know why I wanted to make this video. But I think it'll be. Oh, Shizer. My journal just fell off my fucking printer. But I think. Look at this new journal, bro. The journal's heat. This one's supposed to be sticking out. It cost me two pounds. Look, 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 look. Bro, I got my I got my coupon to like a brokey. Live mediocre, die mediocre. My signature, my name in Chinese. Lisa, the name of my mother. I think it's pretty fire. And you got my journal and stuff. And I might I might like read through my journal as I continue on my seventh room journey, but not yet. I need to fill out a few more journals before I, I milk this for content. <laughs> I milk my own suffering, my own um, hardship, my own everything, my own life for content. I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty much YouTube, no? That's pretty much the whole point. I I don't know why I'm making this video. I'm perfectly honest with you. It's with a heavy heart I make this video. And there's a lot of concern that this video might destroy me in the future. And... and I'll tell you why straight up. I'm not going to be around the bush. Like I do with my other video. I'm not going to go on a tangent. If I am. I technically I'm going on a tangent right now. I can tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you why it is. I'll tell you why I push everyone away. And I think I really push everyone away. Friends. Family. You know. People that care about me. I push them all away. I think it's genuinely because I'm afraid of getting hurt. I'm afraid of being disappointed. I'm afraid of having hope. I'm afraid of thinking positively about people. Because every single time I did, it kind of just like backfired. Like, yeah. That's why I don't really have any like, friends to say that. Like, oh my god, that sounds so sad and so weird to say, but like, yeah, it's true. I don't really have like friends. I don't really, I really couldn't, like, there's a lot of people I know. I have many acquaintances, I have many contacts. I've met many people on many different paths, many different walks of life. I've conversed with people both high and low. And I'm sure many people, other people have as well. That that isn't a flex. I'm sure you have as well. You've talked to people that are in higher positions, lower positions in the perhaps socioeconomic status, social status in general. You've talked to that one geek in school. You talked to the cool kid, maybe the millionaire kid. Maybe you're in later on in life, the millionaire guy, the weird guy. And the one annoying truth about this reality is that I haven't managed to resonate with truly anyone, at least not for a prolonged period of time. It's hard making friends, like it's genuinely difficult making friends. It's harder to keep them. I remember the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. It says something interesting. And I haven't read the book fully, but it was on my list for sure. But I don't really like it that much, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, the book says something very interesting that I really, really resonated with. And something that worked like 10 out of 10 times for me. And that's to show interest in people 
more than yourself or something like that. I don't remember the exact exact tenet that I needed to follow. <laughs> but it pretty much said, like, you know, be more interested in uh, other people than being interested in yourself. Because people love talking about themselves. Like, you, you talk to someone for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, they'll spoil everything about themselves. Probe, ask personal questions after the 20 minute mark. They'll probably answer with the complete and utter honest truth. It worked every single time. But the problem is, is that when you know all these tactics, these techniques, these, all, these, all these, these methods, you don't approach people with a genuine desire for friendship. You approach people with the intention of adding someone to your list. I want to make friends. I want to influence people. Like that, That's the problem I find with that book. A problem with I find with the execution of that book. I think I'll give give it a full read. I was on like page. I was on page like hundred and fifty, bro. <laughs> I forgot most of it. Can't lie. I was on page like two hundred, three hundred of um forty laws of power, and I forgot most of it as well. Like, I don't even know all the laws. I don't really care. It, it seems kind of fictional that book, but I guess it does highlight the truth in many areas. <sighs> More really side. I'm struggling to breathe here. But that Chinese herbal medicine, bruh, ain't no way. I think the biggest reason why I don't really have friends, I don't really communicate with a lot of people, I don't really have a social life. Is I expect the best out of people. I really do. And when I don't get it, which is 99% of the time, I'm extremely disappointed. Like extremely. Like ungodly amount of disappointment. You know what I'm saying? And that just tons, makes me just destroy everything. I'm like, you know, you know when you're angry? I don't know if you guys are like this, but... If you, when you're angry, you want to break something. Like you play PS4, you want to break the controller. Fuck this game! <sighs> Throw the controller. And then, like, you look at your PS4 and you're like, it's all your fault! And you start fucking punching the PS4. <laughs> Maybe the monitor's there, but you don't want to destroy the monitor, you just slap it like this. <laughs> if you're one of these individuals with self destructive tendencies, bro, it's your fault, man. You fucking, you don't need to slap the monitor. Action equals result. Don't fucking do it. Don't do it. I sit here in front of you. Like, I don't really know if I could call on anyone. If shit went like south, because I'm completely and utterly self reliant, I, I don't really know if I could call on anyone, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, oh yeah, my mum, of course, but she's 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 in another another country. She's just been in another country, bro. Yeah. I don't really know if I could call anyone. Shit went bad. I guess you just with the lack of safety net, you're forced to be better. You're forced. You're for, You're literally forced to get richer, more powerful. Create your own safety net. I don't really know. I still look at that apartment in central London though. Really nice. Top floor, penthouse and everything. Private elevator. Sold. I'm sold, bro. Wait, you guys you guys wanna see it? I talk about it all the time, but like uh, I
Holy Shiba, it's right here. Man, my bro said 3.2 million dollars. 3.2 million pounds. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. Get the fuck out of here. Here it is. Boom. 3.2 million. I walk past this penthouse every single goddamn day, guys. It is unreal. I do not accept cookies. Whatever shall you do, bitch? It's too fucking bright. Like a, a, I'm changing race out here, bro. Holy shit. The... Sold 500k. Motherfuckers is sold. Underground parking. Stunning furniture included. Okay, buddy. I like this motherfucker. Oh, Shibar. One fucking looking kitchen with the island. Look at this, dude. Bro, imagine, like, I said it in another video, but imagine bringing a girl here, bro. It's over. Man, just imagine like it's been a long day and like you had a lot of work, you made a lot of money, you haven't finished all your projects, but you know, you're super productive, you sit here with a cup of coffee, you sit here with a cup of like hot chocolate and you're just like, just, ah, relax, looking at the nightlight, bro, oh my god, this is the lobby, I'm pretty sure, this can't be, this can't be inside the building though. This is not the only apartment, they have other apartments, I'm pretty sure, for 4 million pounds, which is fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy, go oh, crazy. Guys, you don't know the meat? Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now, my bad, bro. I walk past this um, street right here, uh, at least before, every single day to go to work. Um, it's uncanny seeing it in person. Pardon me, that's fucking gross. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Ew. Uh, principal palace. I don't know what the fuck they. Oh, uh, principal place, bro. I saw like some ultra like fucking professional business meeting as I was walking home, and I was thinking to myself, bro, I need to be in that room. I need to be stressing about what they're stressing about, because motherfucker, man, I am not in the right rooms at the moment. Not the alarm going off, bro. It's fucking 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh, this is not good. Man, I've gotten zero sleep. I mean, sleep, sleeping late every single night. It's not even late. Like, I just fucked up my sleep again. And, like, there's no one to keep me accountable. I'm just by myself. Bro, this is way too bright. <laughs> Fuck me up, bro. You guys offer more, right? Let me see more. Marketed by. Oh, you know. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What the fuck? It really says London, but it's not found in the UK. Is little bro tweakers. What on earth? Yeah, as if I can afford it, but it is nice to look. Where's the kitchen one that I really want to show you? This kitchen right here. 
I really like this kitchen. Like, I keep, like, bro, I woke up to, like, a dream of me in this kitchen, bro. Like, that's how fucking, that's how, that's how I'm in love with success I am. Seriously. Oh, my God. Look at that, bro. They've got helicopter lights. Motherfucker, man. Oof. Here it is. The kitchen that stretches around here. Oof. And the living room as well. It's very spacious. This is some crazy rich Asian shit. I need this shit, bro. Wait, you guys can see this. I need this shit. Oh, damn. I just sit on that balcony. Like you, you may have like a parachute. You just fucking jump off and you just parachute like Iron Man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you just Jarvis. <laughs> So fucking dumb, bro. I'm autistic, man. Ugh. Unless you go nuclear, but the whole the whole reason that's so dumb. Like I was thinking about my head, because like, bro, leasehold is so fucking stupid, man. I fucking hate leasehold. How dare you leasehold me? It, they're just adding numbers to the screen, bro. 5.7 million. These are for bored rich people, bro. Yeah, there it is. It's nice. They probably include the furniture as well. Oh, they changed the furniture. Oh, there's just two dining rooms. Staircase, business meeting with geeks. This is AI, bro. Look at the shoes. This has to be AI. What? Side palm, even the side palm is a nice part, eh? But the bal the balcony, like they give you, is criminal. This is a criminal part, for like millions of pounds. But then again, like, let me stand there with him. But I know it would be nice to have a bigger balcony. It's not. This is nice though, bro. I know some devious millionaires just be clapping cheeks here. Pause. <laughs> wow that views but i passed by this church right the church right here i passed by that all the fucking time i see this ah oh, npc going to work bro where's where, where the tower that i work where's the place i worked at you can see it from here i actually can legitimately see it from here it's this building. It's one. It, it's literally one of these. One of these buildings. That's where I worked. Yeah, it makes sense because I, I would walk here. I would maybe walk straight here as well sometimes. Yeah. Everyone with their own like little lives. I'm just looking. At, I remember I've been. I've been like a top of tower like this once. I went to. I went to BT Tower and um, I'll show you guys. BT Tower, London. It was fucking nice. First of all, it was very fucking nice. Like, oh my god. And they give you a free tour and everything. And yeah, I went and, bro, the view from up there, because it's spinning, like, the view from up there is like surreal. Five decades is crazy. Half a century. Like, it's actually surreal. Everyone looks like fucking ants. I know some devious things be happening up here, bro. Obviously, business meetings, but I know some devious things. I, was sit, I sat on those sofas. You guys can see this. I sat on these sofas. Some devious things be happening here, bro. BT Tower. Was it formerly Elizabeth Tower? Post Office Tower. Damn, they got bought out for real, for real. It looks so fucking nice. I like, I like, I, contrary to popular belief. The popular belief being that, you know, concrete jungles aren't nice. I think it's quite nice. I think it is quite nice to have to live in, like, a concrete jungle. Oh, my God, a film room. Get the fuck out of here. Pool and everything. Or you would rich, we meet all rich people here. You either, you either reach, like, snobby rich people or, like, like super down to earth. I came from nothing rich people here. For real, for real.
Five minutes. Just... This is too crazy, bro. It's too crazy. This is it. This is it. Uh, I need to save these because in the future I'm totally gonna buy them. No, these these guys give good bang for your buck. They gave me a two million pound discount. Look at that shit. Two bedroom, two bathroom for three million pounds. Oh my fuck. Fuck me, dog. Pause. Oh my. These guys are charging. These guys are charging nine million. That's the bit. That's the penthouse. Where are the other guys? Uh uh, you know. Breathtaking views. No, it, it is breathtaking. It is legitimately breathtaking. But my, my biggest worry with these type of places is that you get used to the views so quick. Like, it's, it's like fucking quick, bro. These guys are offering similar apartments for like 5 million pounds. 3 million pounds. 2 bedroom penthouse. 3 bedroom penthouse. Yeah, just add a few million to that, mate. Probably said let's add a few million to that. It's nice, it's nice. Fully furnished and everything. Dining. This would be a good like, family spot. I, it, it is the worst thing, in my opinion, to grow up here. That is the worst thing. And let, me, let me cook, let me tell you why. Because if you grow up here, you get used to this view. Like, you never get to truly appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be, like, fucking poor. Or, like, live in a shithole. To, in order to appreciate the fucking furniture here. The glassware here. The view here. Like, you're going to be poor for this. To, like, to really, really, like, be happy with this place. God damn, it's a nice kitchen. I don't really like the wooden texture so much, but it is nice. I like to sleep the time. I'm a matte black guy. Matte black. I really like black. Pause. Nice living room, no TV. Yo, three million quid. Nice island, but no TV. Are you serious right now? Show me the view from the kitchen. Yeah, this is this is the exact same apartment, but it's furnished. It's the same apartment as this one, but it's furnished. Um, wait, how many balconies did it give you? Togama. Yeah, there's a balcony here. Why the fuck are you not taking pictures of, these, of the balcony there? There's literally a balcony there. You're not taking a picture of it. You get like four balconies. Bedroom. Nice bedroom. Nice. Another bedroom. Very nice. Well, there's no kid's bedroom. Probably not. Gym. Go put up bar. Go boxing bag. It's very nice. I'm pretty, this is, I'm pretty sure like what you see is what, effectively what you get. Why are these so sleek and minimal and weird? These look like they're about, they're about they're gonna break. Like, I sit my fat ass. I'm like seventy kilo kilos. I sit my fat ass on here. And they fucking it just gets destroyed. Yeah, it's something nothing we haven't seen before. How many? How many? Three private terraces. Forty fifth floor. How many? Um, what the fuck is that? This is Chad GBT, bro. GPT. GPT. You add those. Those are personal. Okay, let's see this. This is the empty one. These guys take better pictures. Those guys take fucking dog shit pictures. But you get a balcony here. You get a balcony here as well. On the, on the bedroom. This is a bedroom. Oh, we can use crazy. Clapping cheese. Okay, I need to stop, bro. Every guy thinks about it, though. Why the fuck is that hallway so thin? And what does it lead to? What's the point? It's scaring me. Um. Is there? There's no virtual tour. Yeah, it's nice, man. It's fucking nice. What? 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 What, 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 what do you want to say? Okay, three private terraces. Now it's starting to make a sense. Make a sense. Powder room. What the fuck is a powder room? I'm too broke to know what that is. I'm way too broke to know what that is. You've got a dining hall here. You've got the don't offer yourself protection here because that's not good. Uh, it's very nice. 
This is very, very nice. You have terrace here, three private terraces or three balconies, that's what they meant. So th th this one is, how many terraces, private balcony. On, this has a cinema? Shibar. There's a gym, but Pinebrook Estates. What the fuck are these basic ass names? Yeah, but they're, they're millionaires, so. This guy looks like you can hardly trust him. But look at this number, though. Don't even call, don't even bother DDoSing and calling him, guys. You're too fucking broke, anyway. 50k a month. That's not, yeah, that's not him, bro. That's not him, bro. For 25 years. Interest rate. How about 20 years? One year. What the hell? Maximum 40 years. You still have to pay 45,000 pounds. <laughs> it's like you just, like, it's like GTA, bro. It's literally just GTA. The only thing I know about GTA is that you can money hack. I don't, I don't play GTA. I have no intention to. Okay, you got a, the main dining hall here. Nice. Sofa here. Okay. It's actually really nice. Got all this space here. This, this could be turned into a gym. Because, um, and like, you can get them like minimal, um, folding up dining stuff because fuck people. You're alone 24 7. You might as well. Like, if you have something like this, you can just eat here. Why would you have this? Just get the, get the folding ones, bro. They still look nice. That doesn't mean that they have to look ugly. But like, get the folding ones because you're fucking lonely, bro. So like, <laughs> so like, who cares? Turn this into a gym, and then the sofa right there. For long days of work, you can relax and sleep on the sofa by accident. Walk, okay, walk in. Private elevator. I'm assuming. Does it have a private elevator? It better have a private elevator. Okay, you got the master bedroom here with Terence. And this is, I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm assuming this is the private elevator. This is what I'm assuming. No way you come into the bedroom. What? What is the point of this? Is that a wardrobe? What? What is the point of this? What? What's the point? What the fuck scam? En suite here. So, bro. The thing... The the be the second bedroom be uh, bathroom is bigger than this bathroom. Uh, what the hell, bruh? Got wardrobe here, wardrobe here. Okay, it has good feng shui, um, to say the least. I'm like a bum right now. I don't give a fuck though. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And yeah, it's it's overall really nice. Breathtaking view kitchen. It is pretty. It's pretty say. Pretty say. That's pretty. It's pretty fucking nice. It's pretty. Grazie. Holy shit, man! I'm literally. There needs to be a virtual tour. Needs to be a virtual tour. <sighs> One day. One day I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Anyways, that's why I have no friends because I'm a materialistic, money hungry fucking bitch. Like, what the fuck you wanna? It's just like my concerns are just different from other people and I understand that completely and wholeheartedly and I'm not gonna sit around and say I'm trying to think about what I'm gonna say I just lagged out like an NPC I'm, just, I'm not gonna sit around and say like I, I need to be friends with anyone any, everyone I need to be cordial with everyone like sometimes you just gotta cut people off the way it is one day though one day I'll probably, I'll probably rinse it out for like a week and then I get sad then I might rent it for another week, then I might buy it. Because if it's 50k a month... Uh, oh shit, a week's like... Fuck. Maybe it's probably gonna cost... Can I, can I bargain with 10k? No, it's probably not, not even. For a week though. Airbnb. More 10 million Airbnb. I would need like connections, bro. <laughs> I would need like a lot of relations. So I'm gonna go. I'm fucking tired of uh, bad sleep schedule. I'm gonna catch you guys in a bit. I'm gonna take a fucking massive, massive dump. I was gonna be my OBS. You can see the front of my face. I'm gonna take a massive dump and I'm gonna go sleep. Catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully, you guys be my friends, man. What's the voice crying? You guys didn't hear that. Uh, you know, Goku. <laughs> but I don't have the hairstyle.
Man, I look like this hair is just. <laughs> I need to get the haircut. Oh my god, sleeper bill! Oh my god! <laughs> there was no bomb, bro. Can't do the definition with this trash camera. Um, there's totally definition, guys. Believe me. Yeah, I think it's just I, I, this video went from being like a sad video with I have no friends to me just looking at fucking real estate, bro. So maybe maybe that tells you enough to like to, for you to understand why I have no friends because I'm fucking well, I'm I'm I'm, some, I'm like I'm autistic, bro. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Like I'm like I I think I look at nice views with like a nice bedroom. I don't think I don't just think wow what a nice bedroom. I think what would it be like if I clapped you? <laughs> <laughs> and then like in the other room like of course I'm thinking some like basic people shit you know normally people shit like you know like what would be nice how how nice would it be to you know to host dinner parties you know to have my friends and family over like to have like you know my kids or like my bigger kid live there and like you know what I'm saying me and my wife live there I, I have these like more basic thoughts and like it, it, if I have kids then fucking get like fucking them, them military style bunk beds that'd be, that'd be funny, I can't, like, you live in a three million pound uh, apartment, but you have, like, a shitty bed, <laughs> just get, just get, like, a bunch of mattresses on the floor, bro, <laughs> that'd be so fun, I sleep with a mattress on the floor, the moment. you can't see, it's too dark, I see, I sleep with a mattress on the floor at the moment, bro, I'll just buy, like, three mattresses, motherfuckers can just sleep on there, keep your mattresses clean, straight up, like, bro thought, bro thought I'm playing, bro thinks I'm playing, bro, like, look at this, you can, oh no, that's actually hard, you know, get, keep a mattress here, one of the really small ones, <laughs> small but thick, pause, long but thick, pause, uh, I don't know why, bro, I need to stop, get a mattress here, get a mattress here, like, you might smell someone's feet in the morning, or you can just place the head the other way, and then like, shift the bed this way, get rid of the nightstands, another mattress, Good luck. En suite, that's another bedroom in my eyes. Bro, get another mattress, put it here. That's that millionaire talk shit, bro. Guardian. I wonder what real estate is like in Vietnam and Korea. Korea is pretty expensive. Um, it depends, though. It depends. Like, it's rather really cheap with goshi ones, or it's really expensive, like, the fucking high-end apartments in Seoul. Um... And Vietnam is like it's 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 kind of the same, but it is I know it is Vietnam is kind of expensive, bro. I don't know what it is, man. Too many fucking rich people going there, having fun, living life. Can't you go?